Hi, my name is Andrew. I'm a junior computer science major from Monroe, Connecticut. Uh, in addition to being a student ambassador on campus, I'm also inv involved with our first year program. I'm involved with our theater and our music on campus. I'm Taylor. I'm a senior arts and entertainment management major here on campus. Um, aside from working in admissions, I'm also the involved in Outing Club, uh, NAMI, which is our National Alliance on Mental Illness, and uh, WNEK, which is our student-run radio station. So right now we're in the bottom floor of our campus center. So the campus center is one of the really cool places to hang out here on campus. Behind us we have our game room. You can play anything from ping pong uh, to some car racing games. You can take out some card games, you can take out board games, anything you might want. Uh, behind us over here we also have some study areas which is a really common place for commuters to come and do their homework if they have a break in between classes. Behind us over here we also have the Blue and Gold Bookstore which is where you can get some WNE swag if you decide to come here or if you're just here for a campus visit. Uh, also in this campus center we have a couple of offices, one of them being our Office of First Year Students and Students and Transition. Uh, one thing that's actually great about that office is we're having a new advising model in the, in the next couple of years. Uh, so with that, students are going to have four specific advisors. You're going to have uh, a faculty advisor, which is going to help you with anything ac academically related, which is your schedule. Um, anything helping with classes. You're also going to have a career advisor, which is going to be through our Career Development Center, which you're going to have a specific counselor to help you with resume, cover letter, uh, if you need to do any mock interviews. You'll have a peer advisor, which is a student who goes through uh, specific training to be familiar in the resources available to students on campus uh, so that they uh, can help with any transitional problems uh, with your academics, your social. Um, and then we'll also have a professional advisor, a, a university advisor to help with anything else university related. So. so upstairs in the building we also have some more offices. My rule of thumb is if you're looking for an office it's probably upstairs in the campus center. Um, you will find the Career Development Center up there. You'll find Residence Life, uh, the campus activity. So we have over 70 active clubs and organizations on campus. Uh, those go from special interest clubs um, to major base clubs such as Model UN for our political science majors. Um, we do also have the Society of Women Engineers for anybody involved in engineering can join that. So it's a really cool pl uh, place to get involved here on campus. And then you will also find the, the diversity office, spiritual life, and counseling services upstairs as well. And uh, one more thing we have down here is a rock cafe. So uh, we'll talk about our meal plan, but with that you get bear bucks and they can be used at different stops around campus. So at this stop, uh, sometimes we'll have late night events happening in this building. And so while uh, sometimes they'll ha give you free food at the events, if not, you can use your bear bucks to get uh, mac and cheese bites, mozzarella sticks, chicken wings, fries. It works. Mac and cheese bites slap. They do. They're really good. <laughs> <laughs>
WNEK, which is our student-run radio station, and you will also find the Cupola and Review Yearbook offices all located in Rivers. So if you're interested in getting involved in any of those parts of campus, this is where you'll be going. Yeah, uh, a lot of our late night um, activities either happen in the Campus Center or in Rivers. Uh, we have, uh, like uh, Taylor mentioned earlier, over 70 clubs and activities. Our largest club on campus is our Campus Activities Board. Um, they're funded through uh, the Senate and they're able to put on these big events. Uh, like Taylor mentioned, we have like roller rinks, we had the skating. Um, we've had like um, these inflatables that, that they, they put up um, on the, the lawn as well. Um, so every Friday and Saturday, uh, especially in the first six weeks of uh, classes, but pretty much throughout the entire year, we have these clubs and activities put on these events. Um, they have free food, um, so you can come and kind of eat on these Fridays and Saturday nights. And then uh, they also usually have prizes uh, and raffles. So if you stay the whole time, I'm telling you, you're going to win something. I myself has won, have won an Xbox One since coming here. I've won a Roku device as well. Um, and it's just a, a fun time to hang out with friends. Um, and in students' first year, if they go to um, events on campus, they get uh, bear points. So the more bear points you get, the more um, raffle tickets you get at the end. There's a, a barbecue um, and you'll get entered into this raffle and you're able to win like really big prizes like AirPods, TVs, um, iPads, the works. So. All right, right now we're going to head into Rivers and we're actually going to show you our media suite as well as our on-air studio for our radio station. So right in here is our media suite. Uh, this is where we hold a lot of our general meetings for the radio station, for GBTV. Um, all of our media clubs will hold their general meetings in here. Um, just allows for more space, a comfier atmosphere, just so that everybody feels a little bit at home. Um, and then if you decide to join the radio station, we're going to show you guys our on-air studio right now. Uh, once you get trained, you'll also have the opportunity to have a show. So if that's something that sounds pretty cool to you guys, let us know. So in here, guys, you'll see our on-air studio. So we do have some of our producers on the Mac. Um, we have a couple different microphones, so you guys can have guests in the studio. Um, we play everything from laptops. We play records, CDs, anything that could interest you. Um, and you guys can do a show for up to two hours. We actually do live mobile DJing across campus. So you'll see us at different events, such as WNE Walks, um, and as well as our spring event parties. We do pre-release parties uh, every year and right outside the HLC. In that back room, we also also have a conference room. Uh, so if any of our meetings are too big for this general meeting, we'll hold it in there. That's when we where we do official business, uh, such as executive board meetings and different things like that. Also, we have some Oreos from National Oreo Day on Friday. <laughs> so the uh, the next building we're going to head into is our uh, University Commons. It's actually our newest building on campus. It was built brand new. Um, it has four floors. Uh, the top floor is going to be for faculty, and then the lower three levels are going to be for students. Um, we'll talk more when we get inside, but uh, it's a really nice building, and it's definitely an improvement from our old uh, dining hall, which was in the campus center, as you guys can see there on the second floor. Um, as we started having more of an influx of students coming in, uh, that space started to get a little bit cramped, so we kind of needed to uh, improve and in my experience uh, I, I love it um, the atmosphere is very nice and the food is very nice as well um, I myself uh, live off campus but I personally have bought a meal plan so that I'm able to eat in the dining hall it's more convenient for me and uh, as I keep er er reiterating I genuinely do enjoy the food uh, personally my favorite part of the dining hall is the cinnamon buns every Wednesday <laughs> taco yep. day yes. you will find me in the dining yes. hall on Wednesdays every week Mm -hmm. um, it's also really cool. They have a couple different meal plans. We'll talk about that once we get inside as well. Um, and upstairs, we'll, as Andrew said, faculty use the fourth floor. Um, but if you're involved on campus, a lot of it will be used for group trainings and different things like that. We actually got trained during the summer to be tour guides, to be ambassadors. Um, so that's a really cool way to be involved and get some leadership positions here on campus. Yes. Um Back to what she was saying about the cinnamon buns. Um, but, uh, most uh, weekdays they have a certain thing that they do. So I think on Tuesdays they do uh, wings with like a bunch of different sauces. Uh, actually, no, one of the days they have tacos, like a taco bar. Wednesday. That you can do. Wednesday they have a taco bar. Oh my God. Oh, are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we didn't get trained well enough to walk backwards apparently. <laughs> but uh, and then Thursday we have um, 
I know one of them is like loaded fries. Um, it's, just, it's nice to have that um, consistency so you know. Um, there's always going to be something to eat. Um, it's never going to be the same thing all the time. And they have different sections. They have a variety uh, of different sections. They have pizza. They have um, a, a grill station. They have like a panini station where you can get like you can choose your own meats for your panini. It's, it's just it's nice to have that um, opportunity. So. so behind us we also have the rock. So it's actually it started off as a prank in 1968. Uh, and right now we use it for a lot of different marketing purposes across campus. So currently it's painted for our spring event pre-release party uh, in the next couple of weeks. It'll probably, probably be painted three more times. Um, another one of our myths here on campus is if you don't paint the rock twice, you won't graduate. Yes, so I've, do that. <laughs> yeah, I've done it twice. I, again, I'm not risking that. I'm a senior right now. We're not doing that. I still have another year. Don't worry. <laughs> use, use it wisely. I will. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's actually a, a really cool experience being able to paint the rock. Uh, you, get to get, you get to get together with a group of people, decide what you want the design to be. Actually, a couple weeks ago, it was painted uh, as a tuxedo for one of our formal events here on campus. So it's really fun to be included in a lot of the marketing events that are done on campus mm -hmm. as well. It's a very easy process to sign it out. Uh, you go through our student activities. Um, I know for one of my clubs, we did it in January, which was really cold. I would do it in the, uh, the warmer seasons. But uh, it, was, it was just a nice atmosphere to see, especially when you walk around campus and you see that that's mine. I painted that rock. People are going to see my event and what I'm doing. So. Hi. Uh, so as you guys can see, as we're passing by, we have a, a Starbucks here on campus. Um, so I mentioned that you're going to have bear bucks. So uh, with your meal plan your freshman year, those bear bucks are equivalent with a dollar, and they can uh, allow you to get Starbucks. Uh, we also have uh, a grill works. We have a, uh, a firehouse subs, um, as well as a pod market. Uh, so you can use those um, bear bucks to get any of those different uh, meals. You can buy snacks uh, down here. Uh, and another thing that's very nice is if you run out, you can always load more bear bucks onto your card. Um, you just fill out a little piece of paper and it gets billed to your student account. It's, it's, it's nice to have. Um, but uh, those options are also available after the upper dining hall closes. So um, if you get here a little later um, and the dining hall is closed, you can come here and get some of these um, opportunities. So. Next, we're going to go upstairs. We're going to show you guys kind of the layout of our dining hall. So something nice that they do is they'll actually put out the foods uh, ahead of time here. So if you don't see anything that you, don't, that you want, you can leave and not go in. But um, it, it allows you to kind of get that insight into what you're going to be eating for the day. So like I said, we have it set up in buffet stations. So right here next to me, we will have our pasta station. So if you're kind of thinking about a nice home cooked meal, get you full. Um, usually before practices, a lot of our athletes will come in. Um, all the pasta dishes will be located right here. Behind me, we'll also have our bakery. You'll also find some fresh fruit back there all the time. Um, currently, we have some cakes. Uh, th the last Thursday of every month, we also do birthday days, so they'll have cupcakes, they'll have cakes with happy birthday written on it. And if it's your birthday month, you actually get to spin a wheel and you can win uh, some bear bucks, you can win some extra bear points, um, and you can also win a piece of candy or some uh, bear bucks for the pod downstairs. Behind us right here, we also have our grill station. Uh, you'll find some really good grilled cheese. Uh, you'll find some cheeseburgers, hamburgers. You'll also find some grilled chicken on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then right past me over here, we will have our international station. So this is, for the most part, I don't think I've ever seen the same meal twice here. No, they they're are really, always, yeah. they're pretty good about making sure that it's diversified and you're not stuck eating the same meal all the time, which is really cool. Um, they have some cauliflower. Usually you can find your vegetables in here as well. Um, and they usually, again, have it on presentation plates so you can see how appetizing it looks. And they also are very good with specific accommodations. As you guys can see, this is a gluten-free section. So everything in here is handled gluten-free. Um, but then they also have a gluten-free room as well on the second floor that you're able to um, go in specifically uh, only gluten-free uh, people are allowed in there. So if you have specific accommodations, you can talk to the dining hall staff and they're very good about working with you. Now we're going to head up to the third floor where we're going to see a couple more of our stations. So up here, you're going to find, right behind me, you'll find our salad station as well as a soup station. Uh, right in the back, you'll also find our brick oven pizza. So they are actually, again, really cool about making sure it's not just plain pizza all the time. They do hamburger pizzas sometimes. Right now, they have classic cheese pizza and a meat lovers. Um, so that's really cool. That's 
My dad's favorite. <laughs> and uh, what's cool is they'll actually put up the, the calories and whatever meals they're gonna be having for the day. So that's how we knew. You can see on the screen, they'll put what they're making. Same thing here, this is the uh, um, international and the varying section. So each day they'll do something different. Here we have a chicken bacon ranch salad. and which looks delicious. For the most part, on both floors, you'll find seating on the perimeter of the building. So you'll walk right in and you'll have food and then you'll go a little bit further out towards the perimeter of the building and you'll have different seating options. So if you're coming in with a team, uh, you can have a large section uh, for you and all your teammates. If it's just you and a friend, we have some single seat tables available by the windows as well. And as well as a nice little seating bar right here. And it's, and it's nice too, because a lot of them have um, outlets and plugs. So if you needed to do work or if you needed to charge your phone, um, you're more than able to uh, while you eat. So in my experience, uh, even when it's gotten really busy, I've always been able to find seating. Um, because we have those two floors, um, we're able to split up that traffic nicely. Um, so something to note that we hadn't, uh, it's buffet style, so you just scan in once uh, and you're able to eat as much as you want. Um, if you just wanted to come in and grab an apple, you can come in and grab an apple. Um, but again, you can grab as many plates. Uh, me personally, I sit in the dining hall for like two, three meals uh, during finals week. I'll just come in, scan, eat and do homework until I leave. So um, it's your preference. Yeah. I've come in and only eaten chocolate cake for three servings, so <laughs> we've all been there. <laughs> all right, now we're going to head back downstairs. So um, this is starting to conclude um, our tour for right now, but Taylor and I would like to talk a little bit about why we chose Western New England. Um, for me, uh, I was really late in my decision-making process, and uh, it was going to come down to a state school versus Western New England. Um, at the end of the day, my mom and I, we came and visited and toured, um, and after she turned to me and she said, you're coming here for sure. Um, and I, I agree with her, and the reasoning we chose was because of the atmosphere that, atmosphere that we have on campus. Um, in my experience in my three years and when I was touring here, I found that we are a friendly, um, open, inclusive a campus. Uh, the whole student body feels this way and you see it with people saying hi to you, people waving, opening the door, saying um, thank you. It's genuinely a nice feeling to have. Um, plus, we have uh, a great academics. We have a small student body population, so you're able to talk one-on-one -on -one with professors and get that individual attention. Um, I love it here. I, I, I genuinely do, um, and I, I like pretty much everything we have to offer, and I, I think that you could too. So. Um, so for me, pretty much same thing. I was kind of late in the decision process as well. Um, I came for an open house uh, my senior year, and I had been looking at other schools, but I just absolutely fell in love with the campus. Like Andrew said, it's the atmosphere here. Um, you do just find, you click once you find your campus, yep. it, and this was mine. Um, and after that, I kind of stopped looking at other campuses. My dad kept asking, and I kept saying, no, not really. Um, and I got my acceptance letter uh, in February of my senior year and my mom hadn't seen the school yet so we came on, ex on accepted students day uh, so she could see it and I, my mom loved it as well and I said dad can we put a deposit down now and he said oh I put your deposit down <laughs> when you got your acceptance letter so he knew exactly how much I loved it here. Yeah.